Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be discussing creativity and truth in advertising. So um, let's go ahead and get started. What do you have to do today? To do, ooh, that was a lot of to do's. Uh, what do you have to do today? Two things. Number one, watch the Making It Stand Out video. You're already on that. And to complete the creativity and truth and advertising assignment. That won't be due until Friday, but um, go ahead and get it started um, today so that um, you can submit it tomorrow. So objectives, by the end of this, you will have thought through different ways to make your advertisement stand out. You will analyze some creative advertisements. We'll discuss truth in advertising. This is gonna be a um, ongoing discussion in this uh, section, you'll see. And you're gonna write about some creative advertisements. So how do you make advertisement stand out? Um, yesterday we uh, talked about uh, Times Square a little bit and you briefly looked at that. And that was just a small example of how big and crazy um, the advertising world can be. Um, you've all watched the Super Bowl probably and seen the crazy commercials that are shown. And um, that's another example of the crazy competitiveness of the advertising world. So. How do we make things stand out? Um, a lot of times people like to use things like humor. They want to make you laugh. Um, if you think about Doritos, Doritos has a ton of hilarious commercials that make us laugh. Um, the, oh, my brain, brain just blinked, but the the Allstate Mayhem guy, he is hilarious. Bye. And um, he is a great way of um, using humor and advertising. The element of surprise is also um, something that stands out in advertising. Sometimes using large letters works, bright colors, big images, and sometimes they even use things that are subtle messages. This picture here is an example of a subtle message. Um, we've all seen Tostitos before, and that's their chip, but um, if you look at the middle, their TIT are actually two people enjoying a Tostito over a bowl of salsa. So this is a person, this is a person, this is a table, this is a salsa bowl, and then there's the chip. So that's a subtle message. Um, that is something clever they put it in there. So we're gonna look at a few advertisements um, now that they've made some things stand out um, and talk through those. So here we go. This is a uh, shampoo type of product and it's uh, by Sidal and it's the before and after. You have this crazy lion and once they washed his hair, uh, look, that's magic. Um, this is a funny advertisement. They use humor, they use surprise. We're not used to seeing this. Um, it is an advertisement that might make us question truth, though, because, uh, you know, did that lion's hair naturally dry like that after using it all? Because if so, wow, I need to buy that right now. Um, if we think through it a little bit, um, we might think they, obviously, they didn't get a real lion and do this to them. But for it to happen to a lion, um, there was probably some blow drying and straightening involved. But um, this is a clever advertisement, albeit it might be a little less truthful. Um, but uh, it is clever. So here is another one. How do you make it stand out? So this is an example of bright colors. Um, Coca-Cola uses red because it's their signature color. So it's something that people um, think of when they think of Coca-Cola with Pepsi, you think of blue, Coca-Cola is red. So here there are nice bright colors and images and it's live on the side of life. So what is that blank there? Um, you're supposed to fill in the blank, but obviously they're representing it for Coke because Coke is here and they want you to think that if you're living on this side of life, everything's going to be bright and fun and happy. Um, so this is just kind of a random advertisement that they're trying to get your attention with. This is a um, pretty clever and funny advertisement. It's by Nestle. It's for these like little candy things and um, they have made the billboard to look like these birds are flying away with the candy. It's because they're so good they had to steal them. So. Um, that has the element of surprise. Typically, you don't see um, birds flying away with things on billboards. Obviously, that's not happening in the real world, but um, it is humorous, it's surprising, and um, it's giving us the message that it's so good that we want to we want to take it over. Uh, here is another one. I need to move this because it's kind of covering the thing, but. Um, this is one for Nivea men. This is a moisturizer, moisturizer, and it says because life makes wrinkles. So this is showing that his kids um, are the reason he's so stressed out and he has wrinkles. And so it has a clever little illustration of the girl hanging onto her dad's um, head and uh, causing him wrinkles. So this, I suppose, is telling us that if you use this, um, it will help take away your wrinkles. So 
that is a nice advertisement. All right, so this is there's one more we're gonna look at, and I think this one was incredibly clever, and they did a great job with it. So here we go. Oh, I should delete that one. When I'm not in, um, anyways. So 3M did this advertising promotion where they put three million dollars, 3M three million, inside of their security plate glass at a bus station, and they told people if you can get it open you can have it. So all kinds of people tried to get it open, but the security glass did its job and um, it stood up to the challenge and it was impierceable by bullets and people were not able to get it out. So um, that was a very clever, creative, bold way to showcase the design that their security class is that good that people cannot get through it. And so um, that was a really uh, very good advertisement. So now that we've seen some creative advertisements, I go on all day showing you them, but I know y'all are watching lots of videos. Um, you guys are gonna get to your little assignment. So you are gonna find three creative ads that stand out to you. If you search creative advertisements, you will find tons of them. So if you wanna pick one that's more specific to something you like, creative sports advertisements, creative shoe advertisements, you can um, follow that avenue. It's kind of up to you, you guys. Um, but you're going to submit the images with a brief description of why you like each of them. So you are going to take those actual images, um, screenshot them because I need to see what you're talking about and put them on a page. This one you do have to submit as a PDF. And um, after you write a brief description of why you like them, I want you to write whether you think they're completely truthful and why or why not. So if this is completely 100% accurate, Yes, it is, and I know it is because of this, or it might be inaccurate, and this is why. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please remember to message me if you have questions, if you have prayer requests. Um, I'm still here for you guys, and uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.